rifle shot? No, that's the voice of an Indian elephant. A villain in a melodrama? No, it's a female puma. A bomb falling? No, that's a baby Rhea. The lion's roar is easy to recognize. The tiger's voice is not as loud as the lion's, but is extremely savage. Zoo tigers generally growl and snarl at feeding time. A keeper has given a 10-pound meat steak to a large female Siberian tiger. The cat is crouched over its dinner, growling and snarling at the man who is preparing food for a puma that can be heard in the background. The African black rhinoceros becomes restless at feeding time. Since these animals are treacherous, keepers place their hay and grain in an adjoining stall. One male rhinoceros usually bangs the iron door with its horns and utters a plaintive call. Indian macaques or rhesus monkeys are perhaps one of the most popular of the old world monkeys to be seen in any zoo. They are noisy and give voice to a number of sounds under various conditions. Just before feeding time, they all started to whine and cry for their food. As their keeper approaches with grains, fruit, vegetables, and bread, the tempo and the cries change. Squabbles invariably arise during mealtime, but finally all the monkeys are fed. The rhea, or so-called American ostrich, is a large, flightless South American bird. In the spring, the males or cocks attack each other viciously and utter a deep, booming call after the female rhea lays its eggs, the male incubates them and cares for the babies. Young rheas follow their father and cry.
Chimpanzees use a variety of extremely expressive sounds. There is some doubt as to whether these great apes actually have the power of speech. However, one study has classified meaningful sounds into those which have to do first with food, including waiting to be fed and actual eating, and secondly, those sounds associated with people and other creatures, which includes the shivering or so-called talking among themselves. Zoo men who work with chimpanzees can recognize individuals and their moods by voice alone. Several chimpanzees await their morning meal. The apes are very active, jump up and down, and loudly slap the sides of their enclosures with their hands and feet. Breakfast consisting of milk and fruit is being served. to hear them grunt as they peel and eat their bananas and oranges. what happens when the chimpanzees are interrupted while eating and their food taken away. No food. Not going to get any. Not going to get any food. No, no food. <laughs> chimpanzee is told to sit on a chair alone. It pleads to leave and tries to sidle off the seat. When not permitted to do so, play period, some chimpanzees roll and tumble on the floor with their keeper. Someone enters the chimpanzee house and is greeted. Keeper is teaching an ape to make a resounding goodbye kiss. Give a kiss, Joe. Give a kiss. Give a kiss. Give a kiss. Come on. More, Joe. Joe, give a kiss. The keeper leaves the building for the day, and the apes sound unhappy. are the American members of the swine group. They resemble small dark pigs with manes which can stand up and bristle when the animals are aroused. At the zoo, these creatures are very noisy during feeding time. A keeper opens an iron door 
the peccary start munching and chewing their meal of celery, and then several engage in a short argument. strong tusks in both jaws, which they click together rapidly when angered. The hippopotamus can on occasion give vent to loud snorts and roars. Despite its large size, this animal can move rapidly. This female hippopotamus seems to delight in snorting and for no apparent reason frequently rolls over and over in the water like a spinning log. Puma or cougar is a large cat found in North and South America. Pumas sometimes scream in a startling manner. A gentle male puma enjoys having its head scratched and its body rubbed. The cat is pressing against the bars of the cage. After some prolonged petting on the part of the keeper, this puma responds with a variety of calls and will frequently purr like any contented house cat. So gentle female puma is the mother of two kittens. Curiously, she becomes enraged at the sight of certain keepers, and by yowling and spitting, voices her displeasure in no uncertain terms.
feeding time at the lion house is always exciting and noisy. The huge cats pace back and forth, impatiently awaiting their meal. Two keepers feed the cats. One opens a small gate in the cage with an iron bar. The second spears a piece of meat with a big fork and shoves it through the gate. African lion is an awe-inspiring sound, and the lion house actually trembles when all the cats roar at the same time. At the zoo, the lions can be depended upon to roar about a half hour after feeding. The Indian elephant utters a number of sounds. Some originate in the throat, and others are produced by blowing air through the trunk. The famous shrill trumpet, varying in tone, indicates anger or want. A loud throat roar is caused by extreme anger. deep rumblings at the base of the trunk express contentment. A soft warning sound is made by wrapping the tip of the trunk on the ground. During their daily outdoor shows, frequently the elephants will loudly express their resentment. are exercised indoors, their voices echo throughout the building. Some of their musical trumpets sound like rifle shots.
Everyone has heard the crowing of a rooster telling the world that he is cock of the walk, but many people do not know that chickens have many other vocalizations that have special meanings. When a baby chick is lost, cold, or hungry, it gives distress calls. When the baby chick is returned to its companions or to the warm incubator from the cold or is given food, it gives pleasure or contentment notes. Another group of sound signals are made by mother hens to attract their chicks. As a broody hen walks along, she keeps clucking. And to the chicks, this clucking means, follow me. When a mother hen discovers some grain or other food, she scratches and pecks at the food and calls her chicks with excited food calls, and the chicks come running from all directions. At nightfall, the mother hen finds and settles down in a good place where she wishes to spend the night and calls her chicks to come and be brooded using a special roosting call that to our ear sounds like the purring of a contented cat. Chickens have various notes to express different degrees and kinds of danger. One of these warnings signifies a ground predator, such as an approaching dog or man. When a hawk flies into the chicken yard, the adult chickens each give a loud scream, and this hawk warning causes the chicks to run and hide at once, under or next to any nearby object. However, if the source of danger is not nearby or is moderate, such as a man moving some distance away, the birds may merely give less disturbed calls, thus, these alerting notes by a broody hen merely cause her chicks to freeze into an attitude of tense alertness. And when a chicken is caught by a predator, for example, as when a hen is held in the hand by a man, the bird gives loud fear squawks. Barred rock roosters sparring with each other keep up a low growling or grumbling as each tries to find an opening. These threat notes signify readiness to attack another bird. Goats have a warning call against predators. For example, mother goats may snort on smelling or seeing a dog. When a kid is separated from its mother, the kid gives distress calls. These are high-pitched and prolonged cries. A mother goat, separated from her kid, bleats in distress. 
These calls are high-pitched, relatively prolonged notes. When a kid is returned to its mother, she shifts to a lower-pitched attraction call. A lamb separated from its mother gives high, prolonged distress calls. When a ewe is separated from her lamb, she calls her characteristic bear. And when her lamb is returned, she shifts to a lower pitched and gurgling note. The mother of a newborn lamb calls repeatedly in a low gurgling voice that apparently attracts the lamb. A mother goat with a newborn kid gives low segmented calls repeatedly and these calls apparently attract the kid. A billy goat gives a rolling sex call as he approaches and comes next to a female in heat. He does some snorting as well. A rival male approaches the same estrus female. The billy goat moans loudly and attacks his rival. Goats may give low, relatively prolonged threat sounds just before driving competitors from a food supply. The threat sounds are interspersed with clashing of horns. It may be remarked that sheep also give the rolling sex call and threat sounds, and in quite similar form to these sounds as given by goats. <laughs>